A police chief shot dead. Sensational claims of a murder hit on a cop and a judge. A powerful billionaire family. And at the center of it all, a mother separated from her children facing trial. Jasmine Hartin and the death on the dock. Jasmine Hartin is the mother of two children to Andrew Ashcroft, a property mogul in the Caribbean paradise of Belize. He's the son of Lord Michael Ashcroft, a British billionaire, former deputy chairman of the British Conservative Party and the most powerful man in Belize. The super-rich family was already known by almost everybody in the country. But what happened on the night of May 27th last year has turned that fame into infamy. Jasmine Hartin broke a COVID curfew to drink on the dock beside her home with a mutual friend, Henry Gemma, the police superintendent. Gemma was then shot dead. Jasmine Hartin was holding the gun. So why were they alone on the moonlit waterfront? And what really happened before the death on the dock? Tonight, Jasmine Hartin breaks her silence and gives her first television interview as she waits trial in Belize for manslaughter by negligence. Beset by claims of an ever-changing story, she's made global headlines and sparked scandalous rumours across her adopted country. To some, she's a cocaine-using party girl embroiled in an affair with a cop she shot dead. To others, a mother caught in a tragic accident, now fighting one of the most powerful families in the world. What's very clear is that just weeks before the shooting, she and Andrew Ashcroft, at the opening of their brand-new luxury hotel, appeared to have it all. Today is a special day in many regards. Personally, for Jasmine and I, it marks the fulfillment of a dream to create the Alaya Resort in Belize and the official opening day today. Nothing was quite as it seemed, and their lives were all about to change forever, as one man's life was about to end. So I suppose my question for you is, is to take you back to before you get to this little jetty where you had this late-night drink uh, with Henry Gemma. I want to take you to life before this incident. What was your life like in Belize at the time? Before this accident, it was exciting. I had my children. Um, Andrew and I had just opened Alaya Hotel. Uh, it had only been open for a few weeks. Um, we were still ironing out the wrinkles of the hotel. Um, it was an exciting time. Um, we were looking forward to the future. Alaya had just opened. We were about to come out to the family that we weren't together, and I was actually going to get my freedom. So when I say I, I, it was happy, positive times, it was. I was excited to have my freedom and to be able to move on with my life a, apart from Andrew. The reason I've, I've asked about a relationship is simply, as you know, Belize has been agog with rumours that you were having some kind of other relationship with Henry Gemot. That's why you were out on this jetty late at night by the ocean. That's why you were partying together. What do you say to those rumours? Well, first of all, I met Henry through Andrew. Andrew was friends with Henry. So Andrew was meant to come with us um, and join us for a cocktail that night. Last minute, he decided to stay in and not join us. Um, it was also supposed to be another friend joining us. Uh, as well, Henry had his friends staying at the same unit. So we weren't meant to be by ourselves. That just happened to be that way. Um, we also weren't partying. Uh, I grabbed a glass or a bottle of wine that had been opened before, and I brought that with me. I had maybe two glasses of wine. So it wasn't a party. Um, and yeah, the rumors of, of Henry and I, that's completely false. We were friends. I knew him through Andrew. And it's just a small country with a rumor mill, and they like to make something of a story that it's not. I mean, part of the, part of the narrative, as you know, um, from people who clearly uh, don't like you, but they've painted, again, a picture of quite a wild socialite party girl. There are videos of you sort of dancing in the rafters of restaurants and so on, that you were heavily into cocaine abuse uh, and drinking heavily. Uh, I know you've refuted those, but why, do, why are people going around saying this kind of stuff? I've wondered the same thing. The only thing I can come to think of is who would benefit from such rumours. Um, obviously, it would benefit in the custody course. It would benefit in many ways if I'm per perceived to be this wild cocaine addict party girl. Um, it's just not true.